We haven't played since um, December, so mm -hmm. it's been about whatever, and yeah, it's just nice to play again. So it's been a long time. We haven't played since December. We haven't played since December, yeah. Why so. was that? Um, we've just been taking time out to, you know, record. take time off basically and record and sort out what we're doing. Um, so yeah, we just haven't bothered playing and we. And I read, uh, I read somewhere that you get really nervous before. Uh, before <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> Why did you read that? It, it, yeah, just in another interview. It was. Uh, uh, yeah, I do. I suffer really bad from that. So. Can you explain what happens to you in your mind? Or in, I just get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, but it's then once I'm. And yeah, no. Once I'm playing, it's fine. I panic much more than it's actually. Yeah. And you do you panic before? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> you're, you're the relaxing one. No, I don't panic. I get a little bit like nervous, but I think it just gives you the, like a kick. I don't think. No. It's basically only me. <laughs> These guys are all cool yeah. and they're just chilling out. And it's, it's the way it's always been. Just me kind of freaking out in the corner. Then I'm all right after. Okay. Um, I, I also read that you want to uh, become big, but not too big. As a <laughs> big, but not too big. <laughs> Is this true or, or has this changed? Because um, I, this was in an in a, in a interview from I'd a year ago. I probably said that at some point, yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounds like the perfect level of fame, doesn't it? You know, to not be famous but still make a living from music. But why not aim for the, aim for the highest uh, possible? Being famous would be one of my worst nightmares. It'd be horrible. Why? It's just a horrible thing. It's just, I, just, I don't know. I'd hate to be famous, but... I'd love to be in a band big enough to fill a venue like this in the main room, and then that's just what I do. That's good. Yeah, that'd be brilliant. But is it also because you would like to keep focusing on the music and, and yep. on the, uh, uh, the lyrics and, the, and really the core of? of yeah, the definitely. And you're not swept away in any, you know, silliness. That might change <laughs> what you do. So um, yeah, definitely. Just make proper music, and if you can make a living out of it, that would be. Ideal, rather, you know. No, no fan, fan mm. girls. Fans and, boys. and stuff, yeah, would be great. <laughs> fan <girls. laughs> a fan club would be brilliant. All that stuff would be great. I'm just, I don't know. I must have said that at some point. That, I don't know. Have Being you, famous uh, would be done. Like. Have you experienced real, real fans uh, uh, asking for autographs and everything? Uh, you have. On the street or something. <laughs> the one that was happy that I hit him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, we signed some like signed some records. If people buy records after the show, we sign them. And, yeah. You know things like that sometimes, but nobody crazy. Nobody uh, going crazy. <laughs> nah, no, no, no one that. <laughs> I, I would also like, want to talk a little bit about the lyrics in the songs uh, that you have. Um, I find them uh, personally. I find them uh, a little bit uh, Hard to uh, original uh, subjects because most artists. Have love, really love songs and, and stuff, but uh, the one, uh, let's see, uh, uh, do? Wild Peace, uh, want, waiting for something that will never come. Uh, is, uh, I find that was the subject for me, but could, could you explain a little bit about how uh, those lyrics came together? <laughs> um, it's just sort of like um, all the songs are quite vague and they all have a theme and they could be kind of. Um, you could place it into any kind of situation or thing um, and they mean something to me and they could mean something different to someone else so I tried to not really like specify with the words, does that make sense? Yeah, it, it does, uh, but do you write it from a, a broad mind or is it, do you write it from a specific thing for you um, and you open it up then? I think with songs like Wild Peace, it's like from like a specific thing, but you couldn't really tell from the song. I think it could be, it could still mean lots of different things. Can okay, you give an example with, <laughs> with one song, how you came to Well, I think a good example is that you know what Wild Peace is about, yeah. and I kind of vaguely know what it's about, and that's for us to know, but I've never sat down and said to Linda, like, what is that song about? Because I kind of respect that she could write it and keep it still as vague to me than it would be to these guys or you guys hearing it, and I think that's the fun of it, you know. It's like, you don't have to just spell it out and then it's, oh yeah, this is a song about that. You know, we know, we know what it's about, but I kind of respect her privacy still to, yeah. because the lyrics sound great and they're, they're good melodies, so. 
Uh, w w would you always want to keep it like like this? Is re this really a, a, a motto in your lyric writing? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of just how it comes naturally. I never really thought about like keeping up a theme or anything like that. I think every song kind of just develops naturally in its own way. Like some have really dumb lyrics, like you know, and some have like really emotional lyrics. You know, it's it's not really something that's thought about or planned. It's just kind of how it comes out with the song.